Nas, you can't tell me I'm not a fan. You just can't. All right, so real quick, I always been a Nas fan. I, I know it's weird because I'm from Brooklyn. I don't know. I just gravitated more towards his music. I remember the first album I ever actually went and bought. First CD, the Carter Three and Nas's Untitled album, which is right here. I bought this instead of the Carter Three, and I don't regret it at all. So um, yeah, big Nas fan. I'm just gonna say, listen, this is my opinion. Don't get mad if you're if I put a certain album over, you know what I'm saying? So boom, starting with the worst Nas album of all time, Nas here. Shit is trash, bro. Come on, come on, bro. I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't hitting. There's maybe like one song. Matter of fact, I don't even go back to that project, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. I know Kanye like heavily produced it and I don't know. It was really disappointing. It was really that whole seven track thing, not feeling that. Not feeling that. It just it was weak sauce. Definitely weak sauce. Then we got Distant Relatives. I remember when this came out. It was cool. I liked a couple songs on it. I just didn't really care for Damian Marley like that. I don't know. It's whatever. Next we got Life is Good. Not gonna lie to you, I was really disappointed with that project. It's good, it's not bad. I don't really see myself going back to it. I never really bumped that, to be honest with you. Like, ever. The only song that I bump on that is a bonus track, which is called Trust. That song is super fire, bro. It's rare I listen to people who never been in my position. The caterpillar can't relate to what a people envision. Still a mind of a man acting something like that. that. That shit was super fire. But that's really all I go back to. And the song Nasty, which is, which is pretty cool. But, uh... Eh. Next we got The Lost Tapes 2, which was okay. Definitely better than Nasir though. Definitely better. A couple tracks on that, which is cool, but I just feel like new Nas doesn't really hit. It doesn't really hit like how Jay-Z can make a new project. Just spit, just being real. Like Nas, it just, it just isn't the same. It just doesn't, I don't know. I like that song, Tenacia, Tenacia, so she must be from Asia. That song was cool. A couple songs on there was cool. Like, um, No Bad Energy was dope. It Never Ends is fire. What was that song? Who are you just to tell me who I am? Who are you to tell me what I'm not? Was that from this project? I think it was, but yeah, it was, it was okay. Next we have Streets Disciple. I got put onto this album from NFL Street Volume 2. Disciple. Disciple, what? Disciple Streets. That shit was hard, bruh. Streets, Disciple. Streets, Disciple. Let's go. Word to mama, any line of paramas. That shit was hard. The song Just a Moment is definitely the standout track for this. That song, that song hits, bro. That song hits different. It's, it's straight from the heart. Everything about it is fine. Next, we got Hip Hop is Dead, which I don't have the CD to, which I'm surprised I don't. But um, that was a solid album. Solid project. I don't like all the songs on it. The song with the game. Dre, he a Compton, Compton, no G. Mix that with a QB, QB, true G. Dude, that song alone is stupid hard. Hip Hop is Dead, the track itself. I'm still Dreaming was definitely dope with Kanye. Black Republican was a little disappointing though. A little disappointing. With Jay-Z, it was alright. Success was way better the following year on American Gangster. Money Over Bitches was a good track. Who Killed It is a song that you really gotta listen to over and over and you really gotta read the lyrics to fully understand that track. It's a very powerful track. But um, yeah, solid album. Next we have Nostradamus, which I don't care what y'all say. I actually really like this album, bro. It's not that bad. I don't think it's Nas's worst album. I really don't. Like, there are some good ass songs on this, bro. T tell me any rapper now and I bet you this is better than that their latest project don't obviously we ain't talking about the j coles and the kendricks and the jids all right i'm talking about any rapper that comes out now like that tries to be lyrical at least this is better than that it's crazy like we got life we chose which is hard the the single track nostradamus is fire to me like some of us have angels dun, dun, dun. the beat is a little corny but I, I like it project windows that song is actually really hard shoot em up is a top 10 nas track for me bro i put that in 10 but it's hard bro i was about to say ding fries are done ding for nah it's um it's the christmas jingle but in a hood ass ghetto ass way bro <laughs> 45, three loaded clips, four niggas roll, one nigga drives. Shoot em up, just shoot em up. What? Kill, kill, kill. Murder, murder, murder. Like, bro, God love us, hood. New world is hard. I don't care what nobody says. You own me is pretty tough. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty... I don't care what nobody says. Like, 
People just hating, bro. Next we have I Am, which I don't have the CD to. Damn, that album is just really good. You got New York State of Mind Part 2, which is super underrated. Super underrated. Of course, you got Nas is like, hate me now. This At this time, this is when Nas, a lot of people started hating on him, really. That's kind of why he made the hate me now track. He seemed kind of braggadocious to a lot of people, kind of turned a lot of people off. People were saying he went super mainstream. And I mean, it is what it is. But looking back at it, it's it was still a great album. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of underrated, really. Um, Small World was hard. Ghetto Prisoners is a dope track. I'm just trying to remember. I don't want to keep looking at my phone. But uh, yeah, very, very solid project. Next we have, I, honestly, this is very underrated too. The, I remember the whole build up for this. It was supposed to be called the N word, but you know, the labels wasn't with it. So he just called it untitled. And I remember he made a mixtape called the n-word tape <laughs> before this came out if i'm not mistaken but uh you got some really good queens get the money is probably it's low-key a acapella but it's one of the hardest lyrics hey yo queens get the money people still screaming paper chasing from presidential candidates whatever bro you can't stop us now is hard breathe is dope make the world go round. i thought was he was kind of reaching for a radio hit but it didn't really stick it was cool though. Hero, loved that song. The instrumentals fire, dope track. America. America! Hard, bro. Very underrated, bro. You got fried chicken, which is a metaphor for like a female with Buster Rhymes. Super hard. Black president, that was pretty dope. I, I was like, yo, Nas is a prophet, bro, for knowing that Obama's about to be president. It's crazy. And uh, the N word song, they say we N I double G E R. We are much more. Bro, that is a powerful track, bro. For real. Next, we got Still Maddie. Still, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? I know I got you, bro. This is a very, very solid, solid hip hop album, straight up. Stillmatic, the intro, fire. Ether, greatest diss track of all time. Got yourself a gun. Woke up this morning. Come on, bro. Smoking, okay. You're the man. Fire. Rewind, one of the greatest concepts I've ever heard in a hip hop song by saying a story backwards. Even the game paid homage to him on Born to Rap. One mic. My God, second childhood hard. What goes around, I like that song. Every ghetto is dope. So yeah, he really came back with this. He really came back with that. Um, God's Son is the next album that I think is definitely where we at. It's top three. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Very underrated. A lot of his projects, people say Nas only got one classic album. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Maybe universally, commercially recognized, people only think of Illmatic, but why you think Nas got mad that people only celebrate Illmatic? Because he has some fire albums, bro. Godson got Get Down. Get Down. Get Super Hard Track. The Cross. Made You Look. Last Real N Word Alive. Zone Out. I Can. Very dope track, bro. Book of Rhymes is one of my favorite Nas songs of all time, bro. Where he's literally reading through a book of rhymes, and there's times where he's like, oh, this is weak. Like, bro, that was not weak. The fact that he he holds himself to such a high standard that the bars that he's spitting is he thinks is weak. Like, it's crazy, bro. Thug's Mansion with Tupac. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. Revolutionary Warfare. Heaven. Dance, bro. The song he dedicates to his mom that just recently passed away. That shit still gives me chills, bro. Still gives me chills. You can feel the pain in his voice, bro. It's crazy. Next, we got Illmatic. Definitely Illmatic. Uh, I don't think it's his best album, though. But uh, Illmatic, not much else I could say. All the songs here. Fire. Absolute heat. My favorite song on this is probably Represent. If not, then New York State of Mind and then Halftime. Definitely classic album. Cl definition of a classic, bro. Then we have It Was Written. I think it's definitely better than Illmatic. Like, I understand why people say it's his best album. I get it. But It Was Written, everything on this, I think, is just a little better. A little better than Nomadic, I'm not gonna lie. The Message, uh, probably his best song in my opinion, of all time. Fake dub, no love, you get the slug. CB4 gusto, your luck low. I didn't know till I was drunk though. Low, I didn't know till I was drunk though. You freak. Street Dreams, I Give You Power, literally is one of the dopest storytelling songs that I've heard. Where he literally raps as if he's a gun. From a viewpoint of a gun, super hard. Take it in blood, Nas is coming, affirmative action, such a dope track, bro. The setup is super hard. Shootouts, if I rule the world, it's hitting. I just enjoy that more. I don't know if it's wordplay or lyrically better than Illmatic, but I just enjoy that project more. And last but not least, 
What is this? From Illmatic to Stillmatic, the remixes. I think this is like a, a, a EP or something. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know I had that. But I don't know if you consider this an album or a mixtape, EP, whatever. This, I think, is Nas's greatest project, body of work, uh, ever. Honestly, uh, I like every single song on this album. Every single song. If you haven't heard this, you really sleeping, bro. You really sleeping. Do rags, amazing. My way. That that. I don't know if it's the first verse or the second verse, but it's just fire, bro. Gotta love it. Nothing lasts forever. No ideas original. Blaze of fifty. Like every song on here. Papa was a player. Player was a papa. Papa loved the ladies. Never got enough of. Just a dope storytelling, bro. Man, oh, this is kind of cool. It's a little ad for a uh, God's son. Didn't come out yet. It says new studio album follow up to the number one platinum classic Stillmatic, which is really cool to see. I got this off eBay, great condition. But uh, yeah, if you made it this far to the video, I really appreciate it, guys. Check you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>